On September 25, 1789, James Madison drafted 12 amendments to the U.S. Constitution. Later, on December 15, 1791, Articles 3 through 12 were ratified by the states, soon to be known as the Bill of Rights, which now contains 10 amendments. The first part of the First Amendment states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. This separation between church and state made the USA completely different from most other countries. As settlers came in, they didn't have to worry about the government ruling who or what they had to pray to. This allowed every American to pursue their happiness and ultimately reach their American dream. On September 11, 2001, an extremist self-proclaimed Islamist militant group called Al-Qaeda made attacks onto the USA. Sadly, this scarred the hearts of many loyal Americans, an event that will never be forgotten. What many people don't realize is that it also scarred the lives of many loyal Muslim Americans and Muslims all over the world. Those people who attacked America were not true Muslims, but a mixture of radical beliefs along with violence which they chose to call Islam. Over a decade later, Muslims in America and all over the world are still viewed as radical. Many Americans are fearful or scared to talk to Muslims, even though their beliefs have nothing in common with those of the terrorists. So the question here is, how do we alleviate this fear? Emails, phone calls, or even videos on the internet or TV may not convince someone that Muslims live a life just as you do and strive to reach their American dream just as all Americans do. So we have created an event called Waves of Unity. Hosted by the Dean Institute of North America, our goal is to ensure that every person has an opportunity to interact with a Muslim and in turn alleviate the fear or hatred in the minds of many. Waves of Unity is a huge event which will bring thousands of people together at the Dallas Convention Center. This event will be filled with performances, presentations, lectures, breakout sessions, meet and greets, kids activities, and more. You can find out who's performing or speaking at wavesofunity.org. The best part of this event is that not only do you get to meet American Muslims, you also get to meet people of other faiths and connect at a higher level. We all have more things in common than differences, and Waves of Unity will help you discover this fact. We are all so proud to live in a country where from the very beginning, the people who signed the United States Constitution, along with the people who agreed with it, believed that everyone in the United States of America will be able to live peacefully, integrating through different religions. Let's make this country a better place for everyone and love our neighbors just as we love ourselves. Attend Waves of Unity. For more information on the event, go to wavesofunity.org or follow at Waves of Unity on Twitter. Waves of Unity. One day, one arena, infinite realizations.